Hello and welcome back to WePC. Now in this video, we're gonna teach you how to use MSI Afterburner. Now MSI Afterburner is a graphics utility developed by the GPU manufacturer MSI, and it assists with overclocking, monitoring in-game graphics performance, benchmarking, and video capture. In this video, we'll discuss the main features of the utility, what they offer, and how to use them. Firstly, we'll show you how to download it. Simply head to Google and Google MSI Afterburner download and hit search. This should take you to the official MSI Afterburner page, and once that page has loaded, scroll down to the bottom and you will see a download link. Click the MSI Afterburner download link and download the installer. Once downloaded, run the installer and let both Afterburner and RiverTuner install. Simply restart your computer and load MSI Afterburner to start using the software. Now MSI Afterburner is a software that can tweak almost every aspect of a GPU, including clock speeds, core voltage, power limit, temperature limit, memory clock speed, and fan speed. Afterburner gives you all the necessary tools to tweak your GPU to your exact specifications, something other software applications don't provide. The latest version of MSI Afterburner features OC Scanner for RTX 20 series graphics cards. OC Scanner is an automated function that will find the highest stable overclock settings for your card, giving you a free performance boost for a smooth in-game experience thanks to higher FPS. So at this stage, you might be considering doing a little bit of tweaking yourself, maybe just a small boost in your clock speed perhaps. Well, if you are, that's great. Afterburner has a cool monitoring feature that allows you to see live changes made to your GPU and what they're doing to every aspect of your graphics card. The utility allows you to monitor everything from GPU temperatures, core and memory clock speeds, voltage, FPS and usage percentage via a series of graphs and an on-screen display. So let's get into how to use MSI Afterburner. Now if you've decided to overclock your GPU, you're going to need to know how to use Combustor. You need to understand how to use and read Combustor because before we overclock our card, we need to know what performance we are currently getting at base levels. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, open up MSI Afterburner and near the top in the center, you should see three buttons. One should be the letter K. Now the K stands for Combustor and should be highlighted as the others are. If it isn't highlighted and cannot be clicked, you need to head over to MSI Afterburner website and download the Combustor app. Click the K icon, which should be located above the core voltage meter, and MSI Combustor should load up right away and begin stress testing your card. You can now monitor your GPU temp, FPS, GPU load, and more. This will give you an idea of how your graphics card performs at base levels. Once the test is complete or before you close it off, record your performance scores so you can compare with the performance enhanced overclock settings. At this stage, you're going to want to start your overclocking process and we would recommend researching what other users have achieved when overclocking the same card as you need to make sure you are pushing yours to the limit. With that in mind, let's show you how to use the overclocking feature. The first thing you need to realize when thinking about overclocking any hardware components is that overclocking is not risk-free by any means. You are running a serious risk of permanent damage when overclocking so don't be foolish when entering this process. With that out of the way, let's jump in. The first thing you will need to do is set both the power limit and the temp limit sliders to maximum. With these boosted settings, the GPU will now be more power efficient and should reach higher temperatures than it would at base. It's worth noting, the GPU will never reach the upper limits unless there's a hardware malfunction, so don't be shocked if the max temp seems ridiculously high. Next, increase the core clock speed slider by small steps, i.e. 20 to 30 megahertz. Per step, each unit on the slider references a single megahertz. If you push the slider in the positive position by 40, you are theoretically overclocking your core clock speed by 40 megahertz. We highly recommend boosting your clock speed by 20 to 30 megahertz each time and no more to ensure no damage is caused in the process. Always remember to hit the apply button after each incremental step. After a while, depending on which card you have, you will start to see a steady flow of graphical issues, and your card won't be able to maintain a stable playing field. At this point, you know you have reached the limit of what your card can do. Don't be shocked by this behavior, all graphics cards have their limit. If your GPU completely black screens or crashes, the card will reset the driver, allowing you to reduce the clock speed. Start by reducing the clock speed in increments of 5 MHz until all errors and glitches have dissipated. Combustor should be stable and running perfectly when the settings are manageable. If Combustor is stable, try running a game on high settings and stress the graphics card to see if it handles that scenario. If it does, you have successively overclock your GPU. Next is to overclock the memory clock speed and the same method applies with slightly different incremental steps. We simply recommend increasing the memory clock speed by 50 to 100 megahertz per step. Again, once you experience regular errors, glitches and combustor, reduce the memory clock speed in small increments of 10 megahertz until you find stable settings. At this stage, you really do want to test the new settings for a prolonged period of time to make sure the card is stable. I would recommend running combustor for a minimum of 10 minutes and monitoring the card as it does so. This is just to make sure that there are no glitches, mishaps, crashes and so forth. If there is, reduce the clock speed by 10 
again and redo the test. Once you feel happy with the settings and everything seems stable, save the settings as a profile by clicking on the floppy disk icon and selecting one of the profile options. One of the great features of MSI Afterburner is the on-screen display. This display benchmarking is a great way of showcasing how good or bad your GPU actually is. You can easily set the software to display temp, workload, memory clock, clock speed and everything else that comes with a GPU by simply clicking on the settings tab and finding the monitoring tab. Under active hardware monitoring graphs, select the information you would like to display on-screen by clicking the desired fields and checking the show in on-screen display box. If you're doing a benchmark, for example, you can showcase the FPS, core clock speed, memory clock speed, and temps. Whenever you load up a game, the on-screen display will provide real-time details about your GPU's performance. You can assign in-game hotkeys to toggle the on-screen display on and off, which is ideal for everyday use. Setting a fan profile is something I haven't made great use of over the years because the GPU just does its thing and the wall keeps ticking over. However, when overclocking, I feel customizing the fan profile is an essential part of how efficient your GPU will ultimately run. So here's how to set your own profile. Click on the settings tab in MSI Afterburner and locate the fan tab in the menu bar at the top. Tick the enable user defined software automatic fan control tab so that you can start to customize the fan profile. You will see a curve chart that has both fan speed percent and temperature as values. You can alter the curve to meet your specific needs. Once you have designed your ideal fan profile, click apply and close the window and your new fan setup will be in full effect. Finally, with this all out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and talk about compatibility. MSI Afterburner is, for the most part, compatible with every GPU, regardless of make, model, chipset manufacturer, or card manufacturer. If you have a GPU made within the last 10 years, this thing will support it. This makes Afterburner the most versatile graphics tweeting tool out there. You can use Afterburner to tweak your Radeon RX 570 or your NVIDIA GeForce GTX 2080 Ti. It really doesn't matter what you're running. The cross-brand support, which features in Afterburner, is different from other overclocking utilities out there, which only cater to their specific cards. Afterburner is also completely free of charge and very intuitive as you've seen. Let us know how you got in the comment section down below and if it helps you, we would love if you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and we'll see you in the next one.